Parramatta with Troy Campbell on top would be like would like to to get the same work rate going as their opponents. Morgan has been strong once again. For mine, Dean Pay has been their best player. He's suffering from a distinct lack of support. And this is the, the work rate that Andrew was talking about. They really have shared it around beautifully, the, the Tigers. Mark Stimson on top. Adam Starr very, very strong in the front row. And you see the bench players. Hudson Smith, Corey Pearson. They've come in and done a fine job as well. Hudson Smith, 10 tackles coming off the interchange. Tony Brown, another one who played his part off the bench in the first half. And Parramatta are back out there. And they will need to really fire away right from the start here in the second half all intents and purposes it really is a sudden death match this one Parramatta need to show the desperation but by the same token that doesn't mean pushing the pass the full 40 minutes to get their way in front as the Tigers return and Staines is back out there for the Tigers he copped a blow in the first half the Sydney Tigers side Steve Roach told us before the match it was their goal to win 11 matches they won 10 up until today and Ellery Hanley is certainly a key man in, in winning the 11th match so Tim Brasher two tries in the first half for the Tigers he also landed a goal to give them the advantage so now the second half, Parramatta with Lawler underway, a deep kick off to the Tigers in goal. And it's Stimson who'll come back and slips before the 10 metre line. Richard Gillette away with O'Neill. Impressive two second rowers O'Neill and Stimson in the first half. Now Staines, oh, clocked the forearm there. A shade on Muchmore who came up to make the tackle. Oh, it's been towed forward for dummy half accidentally. Paramount a turnover with Johnston. Five metres out from the Tigers' line. That was a strange one from the dummy half. He sent a lead over to pick up the ball and it hit him on the leg. The Smith burrows for the try line. He looked at two four-pointers last week. Five metres out. Mark for Freeman. Freeman then for Pay. Pay off-road intercept. It's with O'Neill for the Tigers. 30 metres out. Brasher looming up. Can he juggle? He has. Tim Brasher. No for Edwards. The chase is on from the Eels and Dimmick makes the tackle. Freeman has been left behind, I think, for Parramatta back on the Tigers 30. Tigers still in possession. 30 metres out from the line and Kennedy is tackled by much more. So Parramatta are one down. It's with Morrison. The Tigers with Gillette the halfback. He stumbles. The ball is knocked down. Still in possession is Morrison. Now with O'Neill. Neal taken in the tackle, and this time they managed to get him down. Hanley. Then with a pass to Staines, who finds himself in the centres. Only Patterson on his outside. It's centre for Gillette. Thought about kicking straight away now. Passing, they've got them stretched. Adam Starr straightens up the point of attack. Wrapped up on the last tackle. Campbell made the tackle, as a matter of fact. They're 22 metres out. And he's still thinking field goal. Brasher goes the bomb. Maybon is up and takes it Rod Navon and now a penalty for interference the player who came running across yeah Tim Brasher taken out of the play right in front of the sticks this will be a gift well maybe not a gift two points for Tim Brasher but you'd think he'd be able to pilot this one through but a good uh, entertaining start for the second half from both sides the Tigers coming 90 metres in a matter of six or seven tackles Well, coming, of course, from a Dean Pay intercept. Tim Brasher, some juggling in the lead-up to this play. And there you can see Jason Smith. He's dropped the, the right shoulder into Tim Brasher. Football still high in the air, so referee, no hesitation to award him the penalty, and rightly so. Shane Russell running across the front of Maybon. He's put his hand over his head. I think they were instructed at half-time to give some protection to the... The fullback Rod Maybon when the bomb goes up just didn't execute it particularly well. Brasher, this is for an eight point lead. Freeman there getting the treatment. He was down for quite some time. Leaving the Parramatta line down by one. Brasher one from three. Just to the right hand side of the uprights. There's the two points the Tigers were wanting. 
So 12 points to four is the score. Two minutes into the second half. Now back at the opposite end of the field, this was the funny one with centre at dummy half. They lose possession inside their own 20. Yeah, it's funny thing, I've seen referees give penalties to the attacking side for that sort of thing. The Parramatta player laying around on the ruck, uh, but he missed that and just went the other way. Now Parramatta needs to score in quick time to stay in touch if the Tigers can get more points here. In real trouble. This is Gillette. Lord O'Neill. Outstanding Mark O'Neill in this performance. And Darren Setter. Morgan drives in with pay. No errors from the Tigers. That would be the message from Wayne Pierce. Adam Starr taking ball and all by Campbell. Just trying to ruck their way out of trouble at the moment. Centre now. Morrison is the willing runner. Obliges with a seven or eight metre gain. Last tackle now for the Tigers. Gillette is to the right side of the ruck. Second choice kicker is Brasher. Gets a kick off the side of the boot, straight down the centre of the park for Maybon. Now, can he link up with Marn? He'll have to run some distance. It's a short right that ends his run. Freeman is recovered. Now, Russell. And inside their own territory, Parramatta. Who can spark them? Peter Johnston. Runs the short side. Milford was there with Morrison. Now, is the call out here? Johnston, is it to the blood bin or Morrison? I think a swinging arm against Morrison. Once again, though, Peter, it's a late call, whether it comes from the touch judge. A good strong tackle over the top from Morrison. He's uh, had a very good season in 96. He didn't miss him. But the line was pretty well set before McLean got the call. Johnston might have his number next time around. Morgan. Morgan is able to step through one tackle. 21 metres out from the Tigers line. Campbell. Here for Dean Pay. He's got Maybon in support. Wasn't able to offload that time. Now Smith is getting a little closer to the action. Campbell works here for Demick. Then inside for Marn. He was hurtling through. Tackled by Stimson. Almost flew over the top of the line. Scott Marn. Campbell with Demick. He's got no one on his outside, Jim Demick. 10 metres out from the line. The Tigers players are penalised for inside the 10. What is going on with Paramount? Well, I think they've got to kick the goal here. Trailing by eight. And they stay on the attack with Dean Pay. But that previous play, Dimmick had a good 15 or 20 metres of the width of the field to work with, with no one in support. Now Freeman, no gap there. Shut there by Mark O'Neill. It just looks a little pedestrian for Parramatta. Campbell away for Smith. He throws the short pass for Demick. Tigers defence there. Three defenders. Gillette and Hanley. Rasher was up in the line as well. Campbell now for Smith. Hanging on to the football. Can't slip the pass. O'Neill over the top to wrap up the ball. Freeman. Then for Lawler. Lawler has Morgan. Kicks off Maybon. Quick hands there to Kelly for Russell. Russell going for the corner to come against there. And it's called back for a forward pass. It's play on for the Tigers. Milford. Milford then passing for Patterson. And the Tigers counter-attack like the best in the business today. And now a double whammy against Parramatta. They've conceded the penalty, Peter Johnston. What a way to work themselves out of trouble. Yeah, good penalty that one. No doubt that Peter Johnson went with the tack after it was completed. Shane Russell here trying to put the ball back into play before being taken over the sideline. And another intercept taken at this end of the field, putting them on the attack through Asa Milford. And Johnson comes in on Patterson and then pushes him back. Come in from the sideline, Steve Roach. Yeah, well, plenty of pats on the back for the Balmain players by Wayne Pierce uh, at half time. He praised their early defence. He said the only danger for them is Smith on the fringe of the ruck. They've got to watch that. They've got to mark up man for man in defence. That's the only two problems that they do have. He said they're having uh, a plenty of opportunity. They look good when they've got the football. Just don't try and force the pass. Make sure of the pass so you complete your sets uh, in the Parramatta room. Ronnie Hildish can't believe the effort of his team in the first half. They look flat. He wants them to get a little bit deeper and run with players when they do run with the football. He said they've got to lift their intensity if they do expect to make the... Here goes Gillette Blocker. Straight through the centre. Hanley there in support. Away from Kelly. Away from Smith. Hanley will score, yes. The Tigers... With Ellery Hanley scoring the tie, and he's left a real tail behind him. 
Well, that is absolutely woeful defence. Take nothing away from Gillette and Hanley. They cut through them. But there's just awful defence here. Straightening up Gillette. Now, even here, there's got to be enough Parramatta cover defence. Kelly gets pushed off. So too Smith. Carries Freeman over the line. Just another soft try scored. Oh, you've done it again, Blocker. The call came. Hold that knock here. And away we went. As Gillette strides through. He's had a pretty good game. He's kicking games on fire today. And the running game's just starting to get going. And Hanley, you wouldn't think he's 36. As he beats three tackles here to get the try. And are we looking at the Tigers making the top eight in 96? Freeman does his best to hold him up, but the whiz is only about four six, four stone six. Well, as we pointed out at the start of this game, as Elric Hanley lays the law down to his teammate, this will take the Tigers to 22 competition points if they are successful this afternoon. A couple of results might go their way. They'd have to definitely win their last match against the Sydney City Roosters. And who knows? Stranger things have happened. Tim Brasher now put another nail in the coffin. 15 out, and that one is straight to the right. There's still life for Parramatta. 31 remaining, 16-4. The Tigers left. On six of the Eels, behind by 12. They led 4-0 early in Gillette. He set up the try for Hanley. He still had plenty of work to do, Ellery Hanley. Probably one of his finest moments for the season. Smith went for a big hit. And you can see that... Oh, he's with it. 25 metres out. You see the Tigers are gaining in confidence as the match goes on. There's a, a handy hand thrown in there from Marne because there was space on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> the old handy hand. Yes. <laughs> Those handy hands. <laughs> Not a bad name for a business, really. The but handy the, hand. <laughs> Here it comes. I don't know what sort of business. There's the handy. But the score could have been anything if Tim Brasher... If, look, you can't blame Tim Brasher. He's only a part-timer as far as the goal kicking is concerned. But... And Ian Heron out there, and the score is probably 20, 22, 4, and it's all over Red Rover. And you just wonder whether that kick that Brasher missed from a relatively easy position on the last conversion is going to, to play a role in this match because at the moment, no matter of two converted tries away, if that had gone over, they'd have had to have scored three times to win the game. I don't know whether a, a point would be enough out of the draw to make the, the quarterfinals, but it would be better than what they're looking at at the moment. And Heron watching on. He is the number one goal kicker at the Tigers club. He'll be here plenty of times next year with Parramatta. Right now the Tigers doing it without him. And here is Adam Starr. Again, I just stress there hasn't been a bad forward in the Tigers pack, and that includes the three bench players. Mark O'Neill, full of running away from Dean Pay. Almost a half-hearted attempt from Dean Pay. If I bet is inside the Parramatta half. Last tackle, Gillette. And across for Brasher this time, a chance to run Tim Brasher over the 40 metre line. Look at the speed of Brasher. Chips over the top for Babon. Mahn is back there for Parramatta. It's a line dropout, but that was superb from Tim Brasher. Yeah, one on one with Robert Muchmore. There was only ever going to be one winner. They raced up to try and put some pressure on the kicker. Jason Smith was on the inside, and running of the football on the last was a good one. Maybon just got a little bit of a bump on Brasher. That helped things. Scott Mann had the speed to get back. It would have to be an enormous turnaround in this game for the Tigers to be beaten. They're playing fine football, very confident, and just taking the right options. Here comes Stimson. Mark Stimson. All fire as he lost the football. He's making a call to the sideline, and there is a penalty. The touch judge gets the message to McBlain. This one's 31 metres out for reefed out in the tackle. They lead by 12. Here's what the penalty was for. Simpson certainly let the touch judge know what had happened. Yeah, Jim Duick was the man penalised. He's going to point out poor ball security. That rule and the interchange rule were mine 